a legendary comedian and also a, a dear, dear friend, Mr. Jay Leno. Thank you, thank you. It's not that good. Thank you, thank you. No, this is, this is the biggest audience, you know, for the last year. You couldn't go to bars, you couldn't go to restaurants. You had to keep six feet away from women. It's like every guy had to live like Harvey Weinstein. <laughs> We're in lockdown for months and months, which is actually good news for Laurie Lofton. At least she didn't miss much. <laughs> And Dr. Fal I see Dr. Fauci every night on the news, and he says the same thing. The coronavirus is a war. We have to fight it like a war. And when you think about it, it's the only war in history that when the war is over, all the soldiers are fatter. <laughs> <laughs> and there was a lot of talk that wealthier communities got preferential treatment when it came to giving out the, uh, the vaccine. Do, do you think that's true? That's right here, yeah. Like in Beverly Hills, I got the Pfizer vaccine with a Madeira drizzle on a chocolate llama biscotti. See, I don't, yeah. see, I don't think you got that in the valley. No, no. not Reseda. A lot of mom and pop restaurants went out of, uh, here's how bad it was. I saw Mafia Don getting dinner to go at an Olive Garden. Okay, that shows oh. how many restaurants. <laughs> yeah. I had a friend of mine in, 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 uh, in Burbank, a funeral director, committed suicide. Committed suicide. He didn't want to, he just needed the business. See, that's how bad, I'm just saying. And of course, the saddest, the saddest had to be Tom Selleck. You knew about that. I didn't know about that. Turned down for a reverse mortgage. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Terrible thing. But enough <laughs> about that. Yeah, yeah. But en enough about that. We're over the hump now. 